Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Dutch. This time, video about movement, as if I haven't made too many already. Uh, it's about the fundamentals and kind of the uh, idea behind movement. And who better to talk about it than one of the best bouncers I've ever seen on every Gears game. Um, I've only known him for about a year now, I'd say. Uh, but he's been playing since the very beginning and has pretty much, in my opinion, m mastered every aspect of movement. Um, you know, montages are just one part of someone's skills, right? Because they like to show off their best parts. But again, it's what somebody does all the time. So without further ado, if you would just introduce yourself, my man. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Admiral Lee. And um, just here to talk about some movement with my boy Dutch. Um, I've been playing Gears of War for a long time, like he said, and I'm ready to go. There we go. And just for everybody out there, you play on Xbox, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you even own a PC? I own a laptop, you know, that's how I make the videos, but no, it's not a gaming not PC. a gaming pc right so for all the accusers out there or the doubters when they see something like this and they think there's no way you can do that that can only be done on pc or with mouse and keyboard you know you can take my word for it you can take his word for it um or you can just do it yourself um coincidentally i was already making this video uh, and admiral hit me up not about the video but just about his own stuff and i figured let's go ahead and invite him and ask him some questions that maybe many of you um, keep thinking of, like when it comes to the tuning, for instance, there's a whole debate around, you know, all the changes in the last, well, let's just say 14 years to Gears, how it's never really the same game and how the movement always changes and how people are arguing for, let's say, the classic tuning. Now, in the video that you see, you're going to see some of my trash gameplay and then you see some of Admiral's gameplay. Most of it's on Gears 5, but you can take it from me and I'll put his channel in the description that this man can do pretty much any move you can do in any Gears game on pretty much every Gears game. And he's not unique in that aspect, but he has been practicing for a very long time. And he also does something strange, which is he plays inverted. And that means his up is down and his down is up. And why don't you go ahead and tell the people why you do that? Okay, so I figured out about two years ago on Gears of War 4, it was a little bit towards the end of it, that for some reason if you switch your control settings you, uh, to inverted on the y-axis, and you go up is, up is down, down is up, if you notice that a lot of players in Gears 5 I was noticing in the tech test is a lot of people are looking down while wall bouncing. So I came up with this idea, and people were doing this in Gears 4 also, is I came up with this idea, why not switch the control settings, you know, uh, put you know play inverted and instead of looking down which I always did anyways too let me just hold the up button or hold the down button to look up and just do the exact same thing and that's exactly what I'm doing of course when I was doing this I started to figure out that you were able to hit certain angles and that you couldn't hit if you were playing just normally and it started, you know, and it just opened my eyes and I started figuring out new ways or new angles and new ways to bounce. And it's kind of crazy because you just, it's just unnatural. When you play inverted in Gears of War, it's just like an unnatural thing to do. But um, when I first actually played Gears of War, the first time I ever played it, I actually started playing it on inverted because that's how it was actually set up when I was playing uh, Gears 1 on PC. And so, after the Xbox version came out, and, you know, of course, Gears of War 2, you know, I just naturally just shifted over to, you know, the normal play style. And, of course, playing Halo on the original Xbox, everybody played inverted. I think, at least I think they did. So, at first, I was used to playing inverted. Then, over the years, I switched to normal. And then, like I said, in the last two years, I kind of just been screwing around with this inverted gameplay. And, yeah, you know, I got used to it after a while. And... You know, just, you could tell that you could do certain things that you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to do with, you know, normal control settings. Right. And what is your preferred control scheme that you play? Okay, so on Gears 5, 
I like playing default mostly on on you know games before Gears Five. But on Gears 5, well, I usually play as the classic alt remap to default. Mm -hmm. Defaultinate, right? I also, as people like to call yeah, it. Yeah, defa defaultinate. But I don't use single stick, which is something very important. I don't mess around with the single stick movement. But I also do play alternate. Like, if I'm actually just playing the game and I'm playing ranked and I'm playing normally, and I'm not trying to do all this all this stuff, I, you know, I just play alternate. So by alternate, you do actually mean X is roadie run, A is wall bounce. Correct. Right. And you play Claw, I would assume? Yeah. With a regular, everyday Xbox controller? Yeah, I've had the same controller for five years. The, I don't mm -hmm. even have the rubber pieces on the thumbsticks anymore. Wow, really? Wow. It's been that long, <laughs> huh? Like a yeah. run-down car. Okay, okay, interesting. So, obviously, you're insane at the movement part. Uh, and you have a team, right? It's the Admiral team, I think it is. So you're Admiral Elite, and then there's a couple of other guys as well. Um, Correct, yeah. Is, is this something that you guys did together, or is it something you guys did as individuals, and then you met each other and, you know, found out better ways to play? Or Because you, when I watch your videos, you play like the close quarter Slayer type, right? You don't really strike me as the guy that will sit back most of the time or be sort of the middleman between fights you know what i mean someone who cleans up or or still goes in for kills with shotguns and all the rest of it but then doesn't really take the brunt of the shot if you know what i mean there's always the guy in the team that will take point on on the hill or something or in execution will run to the the midline right away and try to fight for a gun because they have superior movement so my question yeah, is, right, like, your skill, is it all round when people see you play like this? Or is it mainly just the movement part that really sets you apart from the people you play against? Um, so I am a little, it's, back in the day I played, you know, I was pretty good all the way around. But, you know, over the years I just, I just run straight into everybody, you know, just straight lining, whatever they call it. That's that's the only thing I know how to do in Gears of War now. I mean, I can't even, I actually can't even snipe anymore in Gears of War as far as like the scope. Mm -hmm. But as far as like blind fires, you know, I could just run in with the sniper like it's a shotgun, and just point blanks get headshots with the sniper, you know. But you know, I can't. There's a lot of stuff in Gears of War I can't do anymore as far as you know, sitting back, lancering, support player. That that none of that stuff I could actually do anymore. Is like, that I because could do it's it, boring but I can't to you, do or it. is it because you're just you are out of it, practice uh, because you can still do it right but there's no yeah no incentive maybe. yeah i could still do it just out of practice for sure right. like it's something like i could barely even see to begin with you know i have really bad vision so even when i try to do it i never do it good at all so the only thing i know how to do is just play it like i did in gears of war you know one and three where i just ran right into everybody mm -hmm. with the shotgun and and that's it that's, what would you say is it. one of the because you like to help people you said you like making tutorials but you have very high standards for the stuff that you upload um what would you say is the one of the biggest mistakes a lot of not necessarily new players because this video is for everyone to understand but i think a lot of newer players won't really understand the nuances we talk about but someone who's like a, a, i would say a regular to gears playing maybe since two or three on and off but since gears 4 really got back into it what would you ad advise them to learn like really train and study and whatever just to motivate themselves and and find out what's you know what's missing in their in their skill set well basically everything i just talked about what the, all the stuff that i actually don't do because you know like even in gears 5 for me like i've had a hard time you know i i can go around and kill everybody but i I get killed more than anybody in the probably in the game because I'm always just running into the the lancers and and you know, I'm running into players that are corner camping and just lancering overall. So basically, you know, for newer gears players and even veteran players, you know, the best thing is just to be smart. So if you're playing and you're trying to play competitively, you know, a lot of the stuff that I do, I actually wouldn't recommend. But if you did do it, you know, you just the best thing to do is to you know learn how to roadie strafe if you can't do the wall bouncing stuff you know you just gotta you really gotta get down that basic strafe and the roadie run strafe mm. 
And would you say, because you mentioned stop doing all the other stuff, so like playing support and all the rest of it, would you see that as a sort of, uh, sort of, like you have to pile on the stress when you're playing, you have to get in the action the entire time so that you kind of get used to performing under, you know, getting shot at by maybe four people at once just to see yeah, if you can I, even I survive. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I do. And that's the thing too. Like if I five stack, you know, with my, with my teammates or friends, whatever, mm -hmm. and, you know, usually, usually the guys I five stack, they're all players that play, you know, my style where they play like me, we just run in. Mm -hmm. And if you have a five stack team and you guys all run in and just, just play like you're the best player in the game, you know, 99% of the time, it doesn't matter what the other team is doing, you're going to win the game, mm -hmm. you know. Unless you're playing, you know, something like King of the Hill, then you got got to sit back a little bit. But even then, you know, if you just have five really good players and if they just push the entire time, they're going to win. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what Gears of War was built on. It was built on the push. So when you play by yourself, when I see you play, and I've seen literally thousands of people play like you, been beat by people like you all the time because I don't do what you do. Um, I can't do what you do yet. Maybe one day I can. Um, but the number one thing that's frustrating for me is that it's almost as if because you guys are so good at what you do, the game is not made for that. It cannot keep up at all. And then even if I get a kill or something on you guys, it does not feel like I actually got the kill, you know, or that I got lucky because I I won the flip, the, the, the coin toss. That's what it feels like. But when you obviously do it yourself and when you see your clips, you can see that you're actually doing um, what you're supposed to do, right? You don't see the old clips from Gears 3 and stuff where people just kind of tank a shot, right? They just go full red and then kill everyone while being, you know, one shot from down. That doesn't really happen anymore. Nowadays, it's really you either completely shit on everything and then maybe by the last guy, you'll go down or, you know, you're full red, you're one shot. That isn't really the case when I, when I watch you play. But I could be the clips that you show us, of course. But if you're playing against good players and you're sort of playing by yourself or maybe with a friend or two, do you play the same way? Because you mentioned if you're playing competitively, you don't really recommend doing all this. Yeah, the funny thing is, is that like 99% of the time I play just like I do in my montage videos or whatever, my clips. But the funny thing is, is that if there's players that are playing like I am, like if I'm going up against players that are hyper bouncing or crack bouncing, whatever they're trying to do, I actually sit back because I already know what they're going to do because, you know, I could already do all that stuff. I just sit back and I play like I just bought the game uh, last Tuesday. You know, I just sit back and backpedal and, and just gnash your people from far away and pull off a little bit of old school strafing and 90% of the time I win the battles just mm -hmm. because how the game is actually built mm -hmm. because Gears 5 is built <clears throat> they built the game to you know they kind of nerfed the bouncing and nerfed those players just because in Gears 4 it was such an issue and especially Gears 3 so sometimes you know I like to just sit back and watch what the other players are doing and if you know players are playing like me I usually just just stick to you know just basic strafing Okay, so what if you're, um, you know, say like 2v2s, right? 2v2s, you, you have to fight, essentially. You have to fight for the middle, otherwise you're just going to lose. Do you play the same way in there as well, where you have one life? Yeah, I just push the entire time. If it's 2v2s and Asher's only, I just push like I'm the greatest player of all time. Right, so it's a big confidence thing. Like you just have to play as if you're fearless against whoever you're up against essentially yeah 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 are there any players that any you see out there maybe no. youtube or not stream or no. not uh that you say like they are on such a level, such a level. as me that they become unpredictable to you because you just mentioned you've seen people do what you do but are there people out there that might be able to do what you do or do what you do except are are playing in the same way and trying to do those mind tricks on you as well, making you think that, you know, they're just going to do the obvious. Well, it's been a while since I kind of ran into any really, really good players like that. But, um, you know, some of the streamers I've seen, I've played against Domes a few times. I've played with them and stuff and played against, against a few other guys that, 
you know, once in a while they pull off a move and I'm just like, wow, you know? Mm -hmm. Like Glint I get probably surprised. as well, right? Glint and people like Chase as well. I actually have never played against those guys. Really? I've never, I've, I've never had any interaction with, with guys like that. I think Glint, I might have played with him in Gears 4, but that was when he was like... He wasn't even on PC yet, mm -hmm. I don't think. He was he was on console, and he wasn't really doing any of this stuff. This mm -hmm. was, like, I say about two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's... But as far as everybody else, I, I never see them. You know, I don't I don't get around that much, I guess. Right. So let's go back to the but, gameplay I mean, I, for a minute. I played against a lot of the pro players, though, since Gears 4, and, you know, there's a few... There was a one guy that I had a hard time with, uh, Toy. I think his name is Toy. Toy that Soldier. was a guy that... Yeah, that that guy, he's on a whole other level as far as, in my opinion, like he's on a whole other level of, of just the way he plays is just insane. Mm -hmm. Like that was the only guy in Gears of War that I can recall that when he killed me, he, he hit me with like the most disgustingest reaction shots I've ever seen. Right. And when it happened, I just couldn't believe it had happened. But that's literally probably the only guy. Yeah, and so were those like team situations where you're, you know, fighting in two teams against one another and like you meet each other all of a sudden or are they sort of like 2v2s where it's just okay you see each other coming you know where you have to go you know what you have to do yeah just basically like one-on-one -on -one shotgun fights like when i played i played against a toy and it was a it was a five stack mixed pro team back in mm -hmm. the gears for a competitive warm-up and yeah, we would. They were just going shotgun crazy. We were going shotgun crazy. It was a good time. We all had a good time. And yeah, he was the only guy. Like I killed everybody else. You know, they killed me. I killed them. No problem. But that was the guy that I literally could not figure out. Like I might have killed him twice mm -hmm. in the entire match, and he probably killed me twenty times. Who knows? But yeah, he just kept getting me with the same shit, and I was just like, I couldn't believe it. You know. So when you get killed, right? Because obviously, you just said you have to play. Or you keep playing like you're the best in the world. When you get killed, do you get discouraged? Or do you just think, well, you know, just because you can do all these things doesn't mean that you can't die, right? Because when yeah. my philosophy when I play the game or do anything is like, just because I'm able to do this one thing really well or these things really well doesn't mean I can't lose. I can still lose, but I just have to keep trying and keep, keep improving. Yeah, I mean, I lose, you know, we win, we lose, whatever, but um, not really. I don't get discouraged because usually when I die, I know exactly how I died, unless it was like a, something to do with the connection or just oh, right. the game yeah. being broken, you mm -hmm. know. That's my, we'll my exclude, area there. <laughs> yeah, we'll exclude all that stuff, but just like normal Gears of War, like if everything's working, every single time I die, I know exactly how I died mm -hmm. and what I did wrong. So it's, I don't really get discouraged. Right, so that's... That's a big tip for the people out there trying to learn then, right? It's just figure out what you did wrong, figure out what happened, even if you did nothing wrong per se, right? Or just what you can do better for next time. Yeah, because, you know, like in Gears 5, you could hit, you know, you could do three shots for 82 or you could one shot somebody point blank range and you'll hit 82 or two shots somebody mm -hmm. point blank range for 82. I mean, I still get the three shots for 99%, so... You know, and then I get one-shotted, and, you know, obviously I'm not going to get discouraged. I'm just going to blame the game at that point, you know. Mm -hmm. And then you That's just go back something in they need to you know, work on. Yeah, just like, oh, okay, three shots for 99%. Just like uh, your clip the other day you made on uh, YouTube for the 28-second clip or whatever. Yeah, was it, like, with about not taking it seriously or whatever. Yeah. That's basically me all the time. Yeah. You know, I play the game, and I'm just like, what? Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You know, so... All right, man, that sounds good. Um, we'll cut it off there because I don't want to waste too much time with people. <laughs> I want to get them back on the game instead of watching YouTube. Are there any like parting comments that you want to give to people that, uh, you know, I take it you're going to be playing Gear 6 when that game inevitably comes out? Uh, do you have any advice in the meantime for people who want to get back into Gears or want to learn what you do? Um, yeah, you know, if you guys want to learn about the wall bouncing, just, you know, go research, you know, some tutorials, you know, hopefully I make one soon, you guys can watch that, but um, overall, just for the community, you know, just don't give up on the game, don't give up on the series, I think now that the TC is pretty much out of the picture as far as, like, the people that were involved with making Gears of War, and now we got new people in, and, 
you know, let's just, you know, hope for the future that uh, Gears of War can go back to the the status that it deserves and what it was. You know, that's, I haven't given up. I've been playing this game for, since 2005 or 2006, and I'm still here playing it. And, you know, hopefully I see everybody back on Gear 6. My man, you got to keep having fun, right? You still having fun? Yeah, I'm still having fun, you know. That's good. Not bad. That's good. So um, where can the people find you? Because I'll put your links down in the description, but just for the video. Oh, yeah. My uh, YouTube channel is Admiral Lee. Um, I rarely post, but I'm going to start getting back into it slowly. So if you guys want to sub uh, subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate that. And um, you got yeah, any I'll other see socials? You guys later. Oh, I have um, Twitter. I think I have Twitter. Yeah, I have Twitter. Yeah, my my uh not even sure what my uh my profile name is it's a uh, gears above at gears above that's my uh twitter name and if you guys want to follow me on there you could and that's about it so the number one thing is youtube make sure you get on xbox follow him at admiral elite admiral space elite because you know you can find them the man's pretty much online on a daily basis i think right yeah yeah so if you have any questions directly, hit that man up. He's a nice dude, humble, but still cocky, you know, the way you should be when you're actually good at something. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. Of course, subscribe for more. Leave a comment and a like. It helps out. And uh, catch us on stream sometime. Maybe you'll see him slay and me spectating. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time.